Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Only You, Three Cross. Last time, we faced off against Drago Karasuma for the heart of Misaki, and our arch nemesis became a tentacle monster. So, what do we do today? Uh, how to say, but for now, we have all the events available in downtown, which are honestly all events we have already seen. But let's check them out anyway. Let's go to Chu Academy and trigger this red event. We have not actually triggered it officially. Yeah, it's Nozami saying that she is going to visit Rebel. Do we still have time? Yeah, let's visit Rebel. Ah, Big Bro, I'm so glad you're here. Let's talk to Rebel. Hey, Big Bro, uh, is this Mecha? Yep, it is Mecha Yuji. Okay, we have seen this. Uh, yep, and he's not picky about what? I will just check the website. Can you show me the homepage you made again, Rhyme? Yeah, yep. She is going to show the homepage. Are there any new messages? Nope, there is nothing. Rhyme, yep, Sanchan writes. Let's check again. What if there is immediately a new message? Let's just go. And it's afternoon. What do we have now? Uh, Raimo, we don't care. Uh, oh, it's probably related to Misaki, so let's go visit you. Senpai. When I turned around, there stood Misaki. She looked simultaneously awkward and apologetic. The sight was striking, so fragile, so painful. Misaki. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I betrayed you. After all you, after all you did for me. In a quiet voice, she muttered. The shaking of her small shoulders revealed her deep resentment of her actions. Enough. That's enough, Miss. It's not. I don't deserve to hear you say such kind words to me, Senpai. I don't. Tears overflowed from her moist eyes, wetting her cheeks. Miss, you can't keep blaming yourself like this. Everyone feels lost. Everyone suffers. You can't go through life without feeling regret. But wouldn't the real mistake be allowing yourself to get crushed by those feelings? Dot dot dot. <laughs> Misaki looked down, not even trying to hide the tears streaming down her face. Misaki, I think regret is something we feel so that we can move on from, from the past. It isn't meant to hold us back forever. I know, but I am so ashamed of myself. I just can't get past it. Her shoulders trembled as she cried out in a voice laced with sobs. Because I... In the end, I was only thinking about myself. I was just a coward, taking advantage of your kindness. <laughs> no, that isn't true. A selfish person would never blame them themselves and suffer alone like this. Sorry, but I can't. I can't trust myself anymore. That's why... That's why I... I'm... I'm giving up, martial arts. After saying this, Misaki ran away from her. Giving up martial arts? Those words made me realize the depth of Misaki's pain. They made me fear for them. They made me fear that her innocent heart had been broken beyond repair. For the sake of my dear friend Misaki, I will do all that I can to reach out and help. But it is Misaki herself who must take hold of my outstretched hand. Otherwise, she will never be able to break through the barriers that she has surrounded herself with. You can do this, Miss Saki. All right. Your story is progressing. And... Well, I guess we have nothing else to do. Uh, anything in new here, aside from Rival? No. All right, then. As we are approaching the game, we are running out of events. Well, let's just search for enemies. Oh. The Warrior of Love, Stabby, is here. The stars will defeat you. Sorry, but I can't let you beat a new enemy. Well, let's beat her. I sure hope she does not have a stun attack. Okay, she has some fancy animations. 
Next time, this. Yep, next time the Suns will do something. Two more fights and we level up. Alright, it is evening. What can we do? We can visit Ayama. And we can visit. Uh, Rival. Let's go to Ayama. I mean, why not? And get ambushed on the way. Oh well. We are definitely approaching the end game. I think maybe three more videos if, until we hit the final stretch. Maybe even two. It depends on how fast we go. And how much there is in the actual end game once the timer runs out. Because the objectives in this game have been rather nebulous, so I don't actually know if I'm doing well or on my way to a game over. Oh, Eugene. Pardon for the intrusion, I am. No, please don't hesitate to come in. Then, excuse me. Um, I'll make you some tea. A lady in the neighborhood just gave me some sencha earlier. I heard it's a good tea, so I thought I'd have it with you first, Eugene. Thank you. Let's see. What's the matter? I'm still not used to being able to see, so I can't help but look for the teacups with my fingers. Strange, isn't it? Not at all. It isn't easy to break old habits. You just have to take your time and get used to it. Yes. I spent some time with Ayama, having conversations like these. Dot dot dot. Well then, Ayama, I think it's about time for me to, keep, to be going. Uh, you'll come back, won't you? Yeah. If that's alright with you. Of course. Please come back soon. Yeah. See you later. Yes. Goodbye, Yuji. I was seen off by Ayam. I love the house. And it is probably midnight. Okay, the time is red now. Let's see if our arch nemesis is in the park yet again. I am curious where this saga is developing. <laughs> Indeed he is. Let's go check. Uh, are we going to censor this? Should I? I'm probably just going to post a feed up for the entire picture. The monster was struck by Yuji's spinning kick and flew through the air, then slammed to the ground. Thud. You low life. I've been waiting for you. The man rose up sluggishly. You gave up your soul to the devil. The moment you chose to walk down this path, you threw away your humanity. Shut up! Her tentacles were fired out at the girl. Look out! Whack! Ah! Ugh! The man's tentacles dug into my body as I protected the girl. Inky -ink -ink -ink. This is still good. If I aim for the girl, you can't do anything, can you? Eh. <laughs> like this, and this, and this, and this! Whack! 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 Gah! Whomp! I couldn't withstand the one-sided attacks and fell to my knees. Y you Clenching my fists, I glared at the man. Whoops, don't do anything hasty now, okay? The girl behind you'll get hurt if you move, won't she? <clears throat> what? <Ooh. Ugh. laughs> this is great! It feels even better than fucking girl. <laughs> As my body was cut up by the tentacles, red blood began to flow from the woods. Mala, you're bleeding! <laughs> yeah. That's right. This red blood is proof that I'm a human. 
proof of my humanity. Hehehe. <laughs> what am it? Now that you've thrown yours away, you have no world left to return to. So I'll return you to nothingness. Don't talk to me like that, you little brat! Yeah. Uh, go! Go! Go, yo, go, hecky! Ah, the healing move. What the? A glowing bird! Stay right here. Yeah! Let's go. You monster who stayed straight from the path of humanity. I told you not to move! Brrr. A tentacle launched toward the girl. Slayer! Yeah. What the hell did I just see? It's pointless. You won't play even one finger on this girl. No, not even one tentacle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't fuck with me! Come on! This ends here, this ends now. Come, monster. You don't belong in this world. Uh, we're going to get three madness points for this, so might as well spend these. And he is immediately having a better. Success. Didn't even need three. And we level up. And we are one fight away from leveling to level sub 47. <laughs> the man had fallen onto his back, as a large amount of green fluid oozed from his body. Uh, I... what the hell was I thinking? You gave in to your own selfish desires. My desires? Eh, whatever, I don't care anymore. The man's body gradually grew smaller, and he returned to his human form. Da -da -da. The light of life had already left the man. The surface of his skin melted away and seeped into the ground, and the man's body disappeared. In the end, he became human again. Damn it! Was this the only way I could have saved him? The white light of the moon shone brightly downwards. It was as if, as if it was guiding the man's soul to heaven. Ah, uh, I think this guy was a piece of shit even before he became a monster. I don't think he is getting into heaven. We don't need to feel too sad about him. Alright, and we restored our medals. Well then, I guess let's immediately have a fight and uh, go to the next level. I think we are doing good. Oh, nothing is going on at school. Ah. How do we progress the uh, Misaki events? And also Rian Rayran. Rian Rayran has been absent for a while. And that slightly bothers me. Let's go check out the hole, just in case. Nope. Alright then, let's go check out downtown. Good morning, Yuji. Oh, are you headed to school? Yes. I know it's a lot of work, but keep at it. It isn't hard. It's a lot of fun. I always dreamed of being able to learn again. I see. I should be going. Yeah, have fun. Watch out for cars. Yes. I watched the Yama's back as she left. Well, nothing much is happening here. I guess... Should we do an enemy search? I mean, eh, might as well. No nothing else is happening. Oh, it's a robot. I... It is a very... Uh, um, hmm, what does this remind me of? It does kind of look like an uh, Armored Core robot, but maybe it is more uh, like Western robot design of uh, Greek with guns variety. Uh, 
while Bortomate is way beating it up. And the Power Dog eliminated. Alright, there are events everywhere. Let's check them out. Downtown. Yu Yuji. Wakata, what's wrong? You look a little worn out. I'm exhausted. Here, yeah, look at this. Wakata took an envelope out from, from his pocket and showed it to me. This is a withdrawal letter? Yeah, Misaki's. I see. I thought of Misaki's back as she declared that she would give up martial arts and run away. I have to admit, I'm pretty bummed out. She started crying when she handed this to me. Misaki did? Yeah, I never seen you cry before. Never heard she'd cry like that. But Misaki, she's taking this whole dojo thing really seriously. Now, if that was all, I'd still be able to help her. What do you mean? Has something happened since then? Yeah, Yuji, you have to tell me about it. Uh, yes, let's set up Wakato to be able to help Misaki. We want to pair them two together. I told Wakato about what had happened. Dot dot dot. Hey, this Karasuma. Is he the guy from before? Yes. Damn it! What the hell is wrong with that guy? And why Misaki? Wakato clenched his fists and revealed his outrage. That, ba that bastard. Next time I see him, I'll kick his ass. Wakato. Right. I know. If I did that, I am the one who'd get my ass kicked. He muttered with a sigh. But still, I'd like to punch him in the face at least once. I have to do it. Oh, poor Misaki. I know exactly how you feel. I'm the same way. But leave him to me, alright? Dot dot dot. Wakato nodded at my words, looking somewhat sad. Wakato? Sorry, Yuji. Uh huh? If I were stronger, I could do more to help you out. I'm sorry for being so useless. What are you saying? You've done more than enough to help me. But... Wakato, strength isn't the only force that can help others. It's because of you that I'm able to act. Because of your concern for me as a friend. My heart is supported by your irreplaceable friendship. Uh, yes, his irreplaceable friendship as the only activity Pakato participates is showing us poem. Which he did once because we never went to him. So, Wakato, I'm grateful to you. G come on, man. You're embarrassing me. Why is that? Because... <laughs> right. I guess there's no point in, be in being embarrassed around you, is there? Wakato. The same goes for Misaki. R right. I'll try to do and do whatever I can to help out in my own way. It's all things that force can. Above all, that smile of yours. I want to see it again. Yeah. <laughs> Later then, Yuji. Wakato walked away, looking slightly embarrassed as he did. Alright. Well, actually, maybe we will visit Wakato's house tonight. Because why not? Let's go straight to him. Alright, Moon is being devoured. Space Station Sigma, Mission Control Center. Sir, the shadow is abnormally close to the moon. Hmm, on the screen. Yes, sir. The moon has been destroyed, and the shadow remains invisible. That's right, Mr. Boda, because the shadow is wearing a jungle scroll. Ah? And when we take it off, there will be a naked guy inside who will say, Oh, but you're calling for me. So sorry, you've been tricked. I don't kill you. It's all just a one big job. Otherwise, it would mean that the shadow will be heading for Earth. And if that happens, then I won't get to be a hero, you know? Hero. Yeah. <laughs> it will all have been for nothing. That's it. That's right. Sir, your bills. Please take more of your bills. <laughs> Sir, look out. Look, look out the window. And here comes the 10th dimensional monster. Oh, it's the one. It wasn't the naked man who was hiding from us. It was God. Now, now isn't the time to be saying that. Oh, he's coming close. Look, Mr. Bottom, the Earth is such a beautiful blue. The Earth. Oh, how I miss I. Oh, how I miss it all. 
Mr. Button. Yes, sir. We're going to remedy. Sir? Henry. My dear granddaughter. I... I will scatter myself among the stars for your sake. Who's better hand? Head straight into it. Amikaze. That way. That way I'll be a hero. Sir, please stop. Ho 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 ho. Yeah. Ho 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 ho. Wah. Okay. I guess they did in fact run Cthulhu. But it did not work as well as in Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> Alright. So that is progress. Let's pass some time. By beating up a robot. Oh god damn it, he also has a stun. Everyone has a stun. Of course everyone has a stun. Why wouldn't everyone have a stun? There we go. Robot done. One more and we win. Okay, there are events happening. This is probably a real grave. That would be my guess. Let's check out Wakato's place. Um, I'm not sure if going to Wakato spends time or not. So let's go to the park weekly. Because if going to Wakato spends time, then I would much rather do a Bean Raven event than watch porn with Wakato. It is in no way brave. Robot done, level up to 48. Yuji Magami. Raven. As promised, I've come to settle things with you. Is there really no other way but to fight? No. Rar. Rar, I understand what you're trying to say. But, to me, this is a rite of passage. Just as in the day when I killed my parents with my own hands. This is a battle I must fight, so that I may continue living as myself. Rar. <laughs> you have always been a good friend to me, even back then. But for now, stand back. They've made a decision. Dot dot dot. Forgive me, Gar. And Yuji Magami. Thank you. Rare, I... Do not say it. No, please. Do not say anything more. <laughs> Alright. Then I'll accept this match as a martial artist. Are you certain? I intend to kill you. I don't care. Call me naive. But this is what I believe in. This is how I fight. I see. Then I applaud your proud conviction. Then let us begin. Yeah, come on. In the darkness of the night sky, a light pierces through. The light is the moon. The moon is I. My light. We shall cut through all. Oh. Let's begin. Yeah. Uh, sorry, we are going to beat you to a pulp with fists. Yep, she unleashed a wave of energy. Good for her. Okay. Uh, hopefully we get a heal afterwards. Uh -huh. Let's beat her. There we go. Brilliantly done, Yuji Magami. Yep, we got hit. Ray run. Mm. You have won. You may kill me. I already told you. I fought as a martial artist. And a martial artist never kills their opponent. I see. You truly are a man of virtue. If that is the case, then I will take my own life. Stop. What point is there in doing that? Do not stop me. Besides, this was always meant to happen. What? I gave up my heart on that day. When I stained my when I stained my hands with but when I stained my hands with the blood of my own parents. A shade of sadness like none I had ever seen. A, a shade of sadness like none I had ever before seen. 
appeared in Raron's eyes. You. In the end, I may have been wishing for my own destruction. A self-deprecating smile appeared on Raron's lips. <laughs> I really enjoyed the time I spent with you. Farewell, Yuji Magami. The wings of death spread out, as if about to flap. Is she really going to take her own life? Stop! I ran up frantically to Rare. When suddenly... <clears throat> what? As soon as I touched, touched Varon's white wings, the brand of doom on my right, on my right arm began to glow. At the same time, Varon's white wings began to glow as if in resonance. <clears throat> what is this? <clears throat> Wah! Did we absorb the wings? Dot dot dot. Uh, where, where am I? My surroundings were completely unfamiliar to me. Those mountains in the distance, what are they? At the very least, I knew this wasn't my city. I should walk around a bit. I began searching the area, paying close attention to my surroundings. Dot dot dot. But, no matter where I went, the unfamiliar land stretched out as far as I could see. Bit bad. As if to add insult to injury, it began raining. Oh god damn it, I right clicked. I swear it. I made no attempt to resist the bite. I just allowed the cat to do as it. Is this Garl as a sailor moon cat? Uh, convinced, I stopped biting. Yeah. Looks like you believe me. Now, the cat apologetically licked the mark on my hand where it had bitten me. You're clever, aren't you? Just hang on. I'll have you patched up soon. I took my shirt and wrapped it around the cat's injured front paw to use as a bandage. But as I did, looking more closely, I noticed that its legs were unusually thick for a cat. Could you be... Stop! Leave him alone! Yeah. A little girl stood in front of me with worried eyes. Don't hurt him. Are you? He... He's my friend. Don't do anything bad to him. Don't worry. I won't hurt you. Really? Yeah. Meow. Huh. I see. So this man helped you. Meow. Mm-hmm. Then I guess I should be thanking him. Do you trust me now? Yeah. We can be friends. I see. That's great. <laughs> really? The girl smiled sharply. By the way, who are you, mister? I've never seen you in the village, in the village before. Village? What village? Huh? Ligon. It was a name I had never heard before. It seems I've been sent somewhere strange. <clears throat> I thought so, mister. You aren't from the village, aren't you? Yeah. I see. The girl's face turned pale. Is something wrong? No, nothing. By the way, what's your name, mister? Oh, I'm Yuji Magami. Yuji Magami? That's a weird name. Is it? Yeah, but I think it's a good name. It sounds nice. Thank you. And you? Is she young green raven? I'll be sent back in time. Huh? Me? Yeah. Um, Re... Uh... I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Uh huh? It's the village law. You're not allowed to tell anyone your name, except other villagers. That's why... She made a shy face and stumbled on her words. I understand. Then you don't have to tell me. I'm sorry. It's all right. I gently patted the girl's head. <laughs> the girl's eyes squinted plus. She looked like a kid. Come to think of it, your hands hurt too, mister. Mm hmm? So it is. Oh, so he beat you. I'll fix it. I'm fine. It's only a scratch. Uh-uh. If any Jones get into the wound, he'll be in big trouble. Besides, I want to thank you for, the, for helping him. So, please, mister? She stared up at me sweetly. Her gesture suddenly reminded me of my book. Yeah, all right. Instinctively, I responded softly, as I would with Megan. Yeah, then, this way. Together with the girl, I headed toward a barn a short distance away. The inside was dimly lit. Aren't there any lights? Sorry, 
If anyone found out about you, mister, you'd be in big trouble. Big trouble? Yeah, they'd kill you. No way. Dot, dot, dot. The girl's eyes told me that what she said was the truth. Apparently, this is no ordinary village. Alright. Then I'll just stay here and be quiet. Good. Ah, I'll go get you some food. Wait here. Sure. After the girl had treated my injury, I decided to lay my body down on some straw. Outside the barn, the incessant sound of rain could be heard. Big? Huh? Meow. It's you. What is it? Meow. The cat walked over and rubbed its head against me. Is this the, the reason Garum likes uh, Yuji so much? Because uh, Yuji helped him out when he was young? You're a, pr you're a pretty friendly guy, huh? Meow. Have to think of it. You remind me of... Meow. No, never mind. In any case, just where am I? It was hard to describe, but everything about this place made me feel strangely uncomfortable. Dot, dot, dot. A few hours passed. I decided to open the door a bit and check to see what was going on outside. A strong wind blew in through the open door. The rain seemed to have stopped. However, it was completely dark outside. Only the lights of the village could be seen in the distance. That's not helping it. I guess I'll just sleep here tonight. Then tomorrow... Grr. What is it? As if sensing something, the black cat sprinted out of the barn. It ran quickly toward the village. Did something happen in the village? I... Yeah, of course, we head straight, straight for the village. She told me to stay hidden, but I'm worried about that girl. I ran toward the village. We are the manly, a manly man, and we act when there is trouble. I should probably go bring him some food. And this is young green Aika. Oh my, why are you in such a hurry for? Ah, Aika, um, nothing. Laya? Ah, uh, how did you know? <laughs> I know everything, everything about you. Ah, tell me the truth. Promise not to tell anyone? Okay, I promise. Then, well... But... What's wrong? My back! My back hurts! Your back? What is wrong? Ah, grandfather! Well, she just said her back started hurting. What? Show me. It hurts! It hurts! Hmm, it couldn't be. No, there is no doubt. This girl bears the mark of the ring one. The grandfather? We must begin the rite of succession immediately. Huh? Aika, call this girl's parents. Uh, okay. Will she be alright? Quickly now, hurry. Y yes. Are we going to stop uh, Rin Rayran from killing her parents? Are you prepared? Yes. If if it is the will of the Ring Clan. Then, let's, let us begin. And there is cute young Rin Rayran. Uh, her whole storyline is very reminiscent of Moegi's, but I hope, unlike Moegi, we manage to save her. Father! Mother! Where are you? Aika, where did you go? I'm scared to be alone in this place. I'm scared. Ho oh, oh. <laughs> ho! There is nothing to be afraid of. Who, who is there? Me? I'm you. Huh? But... From now on, you will become the Ring Clan itself. Me? Yes. The mark of the head of the Ring Clan is in your body. The mark of the Ring Clan? That is what is growing from your back. The white wings of death. You are a reaper. A being who gives death to all living things. And you will become one with me. With you? Yes. That is the reason for your existence. That is why you must kill them. The people you love most. Huh? Two shadows stood before the girl. They unmistakably belong to her parents. Father? Mother? Now, kill them. Because that is your fate. No, I can't. I can't. You can, and you must. Because you possess the mark of the ring clan in your body. No, that doesn't matter. I see. If you cannot do it, I will help you. 
Do it. As the, uh, at the voice's command, the two shadows slowly approached the girl, as if they were being controlled. Father? Mother? Ah! The head of the girl's father tightened carelessly around her neck. Eh? Why? The empty-eyed man did not respond to his daughter's question. Instead, he further tightened his grip around his daughter's neck. Ah! See? It's painful, is it not? If you desire to leave, you must unleash your power. Then, things will be easier. Easier? Yes, much easier. You can erase the abhorrent reality of your parents trying to kill you. Uh-oh. Your eyes went stupid. <laughs> I see. Yeah, that's right. There's no way father and mother would ever try to kill me. This is a dream. A bad dream. Then that means... If I destroy the bad dream, it will disappear. <laughs> yes, that is right. Come, you prepare the mark of the ring clone. Now is the time to dye your white wings crimson and flop into the world of darkness. Dot dot dot. I... I... What the? The village is on fire. There were flames as far as the eye could see. In the middle of it stood a girl, her eyes as empty as a doll's. Dot dot dot. It's no use. Though you have inherited the white wings, you're still a child. You're still but a child. <laughs> now that you have lost your heart, we can become one. Now, give your soul to me. Hey, hang in there. <laughs> what is this search of power? Who goes there? Mister? Are you alright? Are you hurt? Ah! I... I... <laughs> I will not allow you to get in my way. Come to me. No! No! Ah! Stay strong. Don't let that voice fool you. Ah! Uh, come. Give me the power. N no! No! Stay away from me! Tremendous power overflowed from the girl's white wings. Yeah. Impossible! Could that power... Could the power of this... What? Could the power of this soul belong to that woman? The founder of the Ring Clan. I inside the girl. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Do you intend to destroy me as you did before? I... I will not allow it. It is you who shall perish. That is why I have placed the internal curse of darkness upon the bloodline of the Ring Clan. That power will be mine. I swear it will be mine. <coughs> ah. Are you alright? Mister? Wah! Hey! The bodies of a young man and a woman laid bloody beside the sobbing girl. I understood immediately that they were her parents, and that it was undoubtedly the girl who would reduce them to such a state. But it was clear that it was not the girl's intention to do so. Father! Father! I killed them! I killed them! Wah! It is not your fault. It's not your fault. So don't cry. I hugged the girl tight. Oh, what a death. An intruder who would interfere with the ritual of the ring clan. Oh, kill this man. Kill him. No, stop. Don't kill him. What are you, what are you saying, Rayran? Now that you possess the mark of the ring clan, you will act as the head of it. A clan of assassins. Rayran? Did you just say Rayran? No way. Is this place in the past? Run away, mister. Run away! No, I'm not leaving you here like this. Come on, come with me. Huh? But I... What are you saying outside? This girl is vital to the ring clan. Shut up. You people are insane. I can't believe you'd let a girl so young kill her own parents. Whoa, arrogant child. You dare to speak as if you understand. It doesn't matter if I don't. Come on, you can't stay here. Hurry. He... Yeah. The girl reached out her hand to me, and I reached out to hold her. However, just then, a bloody, blinding light covered the surroundings once more. <sighs> Not yet. I still have to... Mister! Mister! 
the girl cried out for them. But they too were swallowed up by, by the uncontrollable vortex of I disappeared before the girl's eyes. Mister! Dot dot dot. Yeah. Is this the present? Dot dot dot. Gray, run. I... I see. The person I met as a child was you. And yet, I had forgotten. As the head of the ring clan, I have taken many lives. Until finally, I try to take yours. Tch! I'm such a fool. So that girl really was you? Yes. Ever since that day, I... I... She muttered in a day's voice, as if her soul had been drained out of her. <laughs> what is this present? No way. At least I will... At least I will finally take it. That power. Now that the damnable woman has finally lost sight of it. The hideous spirit attacked Trayra to take control of her. But Trayra, like a puppet with broken strings, did not move. Dot dot dot. No. Run away, Trayra. Your power. Your body. Now is the time to give them to me. Come. Disappear, Green Trayra. The black feathers released by the spirit tried to pierce Rayran's body. Moment. A black gale rushed through the area. Gar. 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 You. You. How dare you interrupt me? That is my line. Anger filled her voice. I will never forgive you. Oh, evil spirit of the past. Raven's white wings spread up open as if about to flap. Yeah. I will strike you down into eternal darkness. Repay yourself. Tch, the power of the white wings. As I thought, you're just like that woman. You refer to the founder. But if that is the case, then you truly are an evil spirit. One that has plagued the ring clan since its first generation. <laughs> that is right. That is my curse upon the ring clan. That foolish bloodline of the ring clan. They have done so amusingly in my hands until now. <laughs> How dare Parasite bark so loudly? What? What was that? Disappear. You're an eyesore. Shoo, shoo. Yeah. As expected of the White Wings. But, no matter how great their power, it is impossible to destroy me now that I am without a body. Dot dot dot. <laughs> the wrench vanished, leaving behind on the words of resentment. Dot dot dot. Garm. Rar. Garm. Forgive your foolish master. It is my fault that this happened to you. That it would not matter whether I lived or died. What a foolish thing to have thought. Rar. Garm licked Rayron's hand feebly. <laughs> Garm! She choked on her words. Forgive me. Forgive me, Garm. Forgive your master for not even shedding a tear for you. But, as the head of the ring clan and, as, and an assassin, I no longer have any tears left to shed. As she muttered this, her shoulders shook. And so, with a look of bitterness on her face, Rayron gently stroked Garm's body as it lay there. As if to confirm her bond with him that pervade what? That pervaded from the past to the present. Rar. Dot dot dot. Garm? Dot dot dot. Garm had breathed, breathed his loss. But his expression was one of peace. No, more than that. It was a look of joy and pride at having protected that which he had sworn to protect. Well done. You served me well up and up to now. Thank you so much, Garm. Your loyalty. I will never forget it. My memories of being with you. I will never forget them. So, you may rest in peace. My friend, Garm. No tears were Trayron's cheeks, but her trembling voice and her silent back. To me, she looked like she was crying. I'll end this. I must. For the sake of cutting my ties to that creature. 
for the sake of being able to leave as myself. I will vanquish it. You are going to fight it? Yes. Yes. Since it, since it has no corporeal form, it cannot be completely destroyed. But it is possible to weaken it to its limit. Will that be enough to stop it? No, no, no. no I, will, I will never forgive it for what it, what it has done. What? I will annihilate it completely. How? I know, I know of a way. Yes, it is a last resort. But now, my top priority is to not give that creature any more time. I must end this before it regains its power. But even if that's true, we don't know where it ran off to. I have an idea where it may be. Where? It will go to a place where souls gather in order to heal its wounded spiritual body. But I will not allow that to happen. I'll settle this before then. With words filled with determination, Rayran started running. Wait, hold on. But Rayran had already disappeared into the darkness of the night. No, I have to hurry and catch up with him. But where could she be going? Dot, dot, dot. That's right, a place where souls get. If that's the place, then there is only one place it could be. It is, of course, the Sentry. But we will continue the epic saga of Queen Rayran tomorrow, as we are way out of time. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good day. Goodbye.